Hey guys, and welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Super Mario 64 DS. In the last part, we defeated the Goombas, but now, as you can see, Baby Yoshi has gone to sleep. He had a big day. He had a big day in the last part, so now we're just gonna let him sleep and. Go on, Yoshi! We gotta save the day! The princess! Jesus. Yeah, that's a nice touch in this game. If you leave the character for too long, they will go to sleep. Which I think was nice. Uh, not W, not L, not the other door. Yeah, Mario. Let's uh, get his skinny short ass out of here. Apparently everyone in the Mario universe likes to slag him off. There he is, the main man himself. The guy that's on the cover. You've rescued Mario. Now you can smash Bowser in style. Wow, I really like the way I said that. Really infused. Red caps are everywhere. Grab one to turn into Mario. I know that. Fourth Bowser's sinister plans with super moves. Well, I am pumped. That I am. Yeah, that's yeah. Woo! I am now pumped to go defeat Bowser. Let's do it. Yeah. So I think I'll probably be Mario for a lot of this game, just because this whole game was like designed around Mario. You know, it's Super Mario 64, so a lot of this game is designed to be played as Mario. So. It makes sense to be Mario for most of it, so I think uh, let's do Womp Fortress. It is technically the second world in the game, so it kind of makes sense. Chip off Womp's block. Oh, I don't mind if I do. Hello, the lucky, uh, lucky to, lack, lack I to, lack of, whatever. Uh, our hero is to learn a technique for sneaking up on enemies. Uh, according to eyewitnesses, the trick. Eyewitnesses? What are you. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, so this is one fortress. You know, it got recreated in Super Mario Galaxy 2, which is pretty cool, but. I mean, that was a cool idea, but I think they kind of could have done it. I would have liked it if it was a bit more faithful to the original. Oh god. I'm not even gonna try to sneak up on these guys. Oh, I didn't think they could. Oh, okay, whatever. Well, that's fine. Okay, so one thing that is kind of necessary, especially like you realise this when playing Worms Fortress, is that you need to know about. Oh, shoot! Oh, oh, that was close. Yeah, you need to know to center the camera behind you. It's really nice that in this game there is a button that does it. L just centers the camera behind you. Uh, I think that's like all you get for camera controls. On the touch screen, there are two things for camera controls, so you can turn the camera, but of course, I'm using a 360 controller here, so I'm not going to be doing that. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads. And you still walk all over us. Well, don't be a road then. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to pound me, Wimpa. Well, this guy seems like he knows what he's doing here. So it's a shame. <laughs> with this they kind of fixed this version. Oh, he's got an adorable crown. That's nice. Yeah, in the original you could just pound ground like when he slammed on top of you. If you ground pounded, then you would go through him and uh, you could beat him that way. But in this one, you actually got to do it legit. You know, because that's another thing with Super Mario 64. If you play it enough, you know all the little glitches. Like, there was a stupid amount of glitches. No, crushed again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel, uh, grovel. Here you win, take this with you. Oh, that guy spoke weird, what a creep. I like his crown though. Everything in this game has a crown, why is everything like the king? We fought the king bomb, the king goomba, and now the king paving stone. What's next? The king bloody... I don't know, I got nothing for that one. Alright, back into the world. I think we can do most of this to the top of the fortress, alright. See, I'm such a pro at Super Mario 64, I'm just like, yeah, whatever, I'll just go up to the top of the fortress. Right, here we go. Just gotta go the exact same route and then, you know, we'll go there. I always feel like there might be, like, shortcuts to get to the top of this place, but... I, I can tell you what they are, and I don't really know them. Okay. Oof. So you might have noticed by now that in this emulator version I'm playing, or in this ROM, um, there's no shadows. <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered to fix, I don't know how to fix it, is probably a more appropriate way rather than saying I can't be bothered. 
I want to see what Bullet Bill looks like in this game. Oh, sh oh shoot. That kind of really hurt. He didn't explode though. You kind of expect bullets to explode rather than just ram you. Uh, but yeah, there's no shadows in this game, so I know that's really going to screw me over later on on certain levels, but, you know, just hang on with me and I should kind of get used to it. I think it's why in the last part with Yoshi I kept messing up and landing in the poison goop or whatever it is. Because you can't see your shadow and it's... it's you kind of need your shadow. I can't, you kind of forget. Alright, 10 stars already. Nice. Uh, that's, oh, I can't believe I have to use my mouse every time I want to hit continue. That just seems silly. Actually, let's talk to this toad. See what's going on in uh, Toad Town, which is a real place. Mario, why don't you why don't you triple jump into the painting? It's such a stylish move. I'll watch it from here. Okay, here's oh, the bloody toad. You know, he just really wants to see me triple jump. There we go. I'm going to do it out here just to spite him. Okay, so I have to check something? Let's have a... No. Okay, let's just go back to Wim, Wim Fortress. <laughs> Anyone who's played the original, and you should have, because it's like, awesome, uh, should know what I was trying to do there, but... Let's just keep doing... Let's just do stuff I know how to do. You know, I don't know every single change in this remake, so let's just keep it on the straight and narrow, to just sticking all the good stuff. Um, no, how do I... There we go. Nice. Oh. Yeah, because, um, yeah, you probably noticed that I probably I should have gone back to the Goom Boss level to get the red coins. But at this this early in the LP, I don't want to make myself look like a complete idiot already. I think that's kind of, you know, a no no. Um, because I think if I tried to do that, there might already be a fail montage, and I kind of want to avoid that for as long as possible. So with, with this one as well, I think. Oh, hold on, I want to try it. So the star's right there. Oh, sh oh, God, oh, Ugh. I wanted to just fall off. I didn't realize <laughs> that was really dumb. Okay, let's try again because that's what you're supposed to do. But I don't know every single trick in this game and every single like shortcut to do it. Um, I have watched like a world, the world record run of this, and a lot of world record runs of it. Or the guy. Um, the guy who has the world record did a stream, did like this charity stream for 24 hours, and I watched most of it. So I do know a lot of tricks based off that, but I think if you do this right... Oh shoot. These controls are just... Oh, come on. I go way too far forward. See, in this version of the game, it's really hard to backwards jump, and that's how you have to do this. Come on. I want to show I can do it now. I already died for this. See? Oh god, I can't do it at this angle. There we go. Oh god. This was really dumb. I should not be doing this. I should have just except I was there. Okay, maybe I can do it like this. No, not like that, Mario. Like this. No, no. Why was he? Why did he launch himself that far? Oh, oh, Mario, you. You idiot! I was going to call him a plumber, but I kind of—he kind of is a plumber. So it wouldn't, wouldn't have been a good insult. I know you can do this. I, it's now dignity. It's all about dignity. I can't. Every time I actually manage to do the jump at the angle I want to do it at, it just doesn't. See, it's that. It just doesn't. Every time I manage. To, it, mm. <laughs> I was just talking about not wanting to look like an idiot, and now I've. Oh come on, Mario! That's so. See. Oh, this is so off. It's really bad. Come oh, I should not be... Mario goes so far forward, it's crazy. Okay, let's try and do the backwards jump at an angle. i got to do this, you know, I have to do this. There we go. Oh, what are you doing, Mario? What's wrong with you? Just stop. Just calm down, mate. There we go. <laughs> I knew you can do that. I kind of knew it. Oh, God. That was not worth the trouble. <laughs> Feel a bit like an idiot now. But yeah, so you're meant to use the cannon to shoot up there. And I remember being stuck on that stuff for ages, because the whole point is that, uh, you know, nowadays it's natural. You just aim for the post and hit the post. But back in the day, I managed, I got stuck on that for ages. Because if you aim for the star, you'll like always miss. 
Um, okay, somebody out there probably did manage to hit the star and actually, you know, managed to hit the star directly, but every time when I was a kid, I tried to hit that star, I always missed, so... Yeah. Right. Oh, they took off the faces! Why did they do that? Is that just my ROM? Oh, God. Maybe that's just my ROM being weird. Because, yeah, there, there was faces on those things before. Because that's what you just did back in the day. You just, you know, ah, it's a kid's game. Faces on everything. It's just the way it went. Uh, okay, so there's a wing cap there. Also, I don't like that they actually turn these into womps. In the original, they were womps, and I think they kind of... I think they just... I think Nintendo like kind of just disowns womps. And they were just like, ah, we pretty much have... Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Yeah, they, they were probably like, we pretty much have womps with womps, so let's just get rid of womps and have womps. Probably something like that was said, I don't know. But I kind of missed the womps, because the fromps were cool. I think the fronts were pretty much only in this game, and then they were just like, ah, why not? Right, so that's Red Coin's gone. Because, yeah, the cool thing about this, though, is that they actually added stuff to this level. Um, like over here. Oh, God, I really don't want to miss this jump. Mm. Oh, I wonder what that could be. Uh, yeah, they added in this area. Uh, I, I, can cu I can see why, because it, it really did feel like they needed an area here. What are these posts all about? Oh well, 23 is number one. I guess that's the way to do this. Oh, coins! That helped doing 100 coins. Well, I'm already on like 20 actually. I could probably do it now. Oh, I missed those. Oh well, what are you going to do? Um, actually, no, I kind of don't need to hit those. Um, can I marry it? Okay, good. I think these blocks, I, I would guess their sole purpose in this version of the game is to make it easier to get 100 coins. Like, right? They probably, when redesigned this game, they were like, yeah, 100 coins are just annoying, so we should probably just add more coins to make it more fun. And it was a good idea. What the heck? Yeah! You don't even know! You do not even know! Yeah! That's, everyone will die. The, no one will be spared. The children will know who is their daddy. Okay, he can't. There we go. Why does he have to? Ah, oh, was having so much fun. Okay. Oh, I missed. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. Well, that was fun. I don't think you need. Oh, it's nice. The Mega Mushroom's like a really cool power, but. They kind of like used it twice and then never again. And I think probably the first official no Mario stop. I think the first official like appearance of the Mega Mushroom. I think technically would be Mario Party 4. Like, am I wrong saying that? Because that's when I first showed up. Uh, it was green, yeah. But I think that's the. F I think you could argue that was like the first time. Oh, I hate that guy. I really do hate that guy. So yeah, so, but it showed up for like a few years and then they're like, no, we don't want it in our new Super Mario Brothers games, why would we? And then they just was like, well, okay, well there we go. Even though I thought it was really cool. Okay, uh, I think I know where the last two are. Because uh, not every red coin mission or star is going to go as smoothly as this one has. Like this one's gone smoothly at all, really, kind of. I felt a bit stupid saying or implying that this one has gone well. Um, all right, where's that thing? Physics, kind of. No aim. Physics, physics. There we go. I knew Mario would get it. Oh shoot. Okay. Hmm. See, that's the odd thing about this game as well—that the camera angles are really weird. Like, I, you obviously for this bit want the camera behind you so you can just hold straight forward, but the camera's like insisting and going the other way. Okay, don't mess this up. Yes. Now to do an awesome jump over there. Oh, there's no way this can go well. There's no way. Awesome jump. Ah, uh, that kind of went well. Nice. Ah. <laughs> uh. 
Didn't really get that many stars in this part, because yeah, I'm going to end up the part, but you know, what are you going to do? When it comes to the red coins ones, they just take time. Actually, you know what? Let's do one more star. There's one more real quick one. Uh, but Bowser is ahead. Okay. Yeah, because now that I think you need eight to rescue Mario. Oh, fall in the fog. Oh, God, that's going to take forever. Yeah, for this one, you need 12 uh, stars to fight Bowser for the first time. You know, with there being 150 stars in this game. Right, so let's hope this is easy. Because I, I only did this because this is a quick one. This is one of those stars where it's like, yeah, once you know what to do, it's like, yeah, just just do it. <laughs> and there we go. Ooh, a power star. Who hid it there, you guys? Who put the power star in the wall? I mean, that's kind of confusing. We we went into the wall to get a power star in the wall. I mean, I know this whole point is that everyone's trapped in the walls, but this, this game's a bit obsessed with walls, if you ask me. Which, I mean, it's fine, you know, if they love walls, that's none of my business. Right, go behind you. Okay. No need to run. There's no need for it. There's no... Oh, whoa. I thought I'd miss that for a second. Nice. So, yeah, I knew I had time. So, uh, anyway, in the next part of Let's Play Super Mario 64 DS, I think I might, I might try and finish off Womp's Fortress. I don't know. But we'll see. So, yeah, I've been on Tom 23. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.